Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mia Sin and welcome to my Cyber Dragon ABC combo video. But before you start friendly, reminder to like and subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, let's jump right into it. Right, so for combo number one, this is the exact same thing as the thing that, you know, as the combo that I mentioned on Edie's channel. Once again, I don't like repeating myself. So if you're too vegetative and you wonder who Edie is, uh, just do a bit of research. I mean, his name is obviously not uh, just E-T. Uh, you know, it's it's a bit more complicated than that. And, you know, if I say that he has 320k subscribers, this should already be kind of a hint. So, yeah, Core Machine Dupe and Overload Fusion. I saw a really stupid comment saying, uh, what, what do you do if you actually get hand trapped? Um, you know, there was a point in my life where actually I liked uh, roasting those guys, but now it's just, you know, too many stupid people. So what can I, what can I, what, what should I even do, honestly? But yeah, so uh, this is just a fun combo. Honestly, I wouldn't even play... A bunch of these cards in a real Cyber ABC deck if I had to play one. Cyber Network, really, really cool. It's just really nice to pull the combo off, but doesn't necessarily mean that it's the perfect card to play in this deck. Probably not, to be honest. And someone else actually mentioned, mentioned something very nice. He said, you don't have to play Machine Dupe and Cyber Dragons and three Cyber Dragons in the Cyber ABC deck, which I 10 billion percent agree with. You actually do not need, because especially when you're playing Hangar, your normal summon might actually have to be on a letter and not necessarily on the little Sidras. So, you know, Machine Dupe, is it really going to be always that, like, playable? Not necessarily, so, yeah. Anyways, now you're gonna make Seeger into Clifford Genius. Remember, this part is really important because if you go into Nova and Infinity, you can't really do anything after that, right? And when you actually revive back all of your monsters with Cyber Network, they cannot actually activate their effects. Uh, their continuous effects are still active, but they cannot actually trigger their, like, you know, ignition effects. And, yeah, and I guess trigger, but that's irrelevant. Uh, but the the cool thing about this is that you're going to be able to revive back four monsters in one shot, and Clifford Genius is going to trigger. So, th this is why I'm not really, like, uh, overhyping this, because I already showcased it, so th at this point, there's nothing that I can uh, really talk about too much. So, yeah, that's Cyber Network, gonna revive back four monsters. Genius is going to search a level five or higher machine monster. You already know what it is, Galaxy Soldier, of course. And now you're gonna make Union Carrier, so you can get that Union Driver to summon Buster Drake from your deck. Really, really cool. Alright, okay, cool. You really need to go through this step. You can't just equip Buster Drake because it won't special summon itself thanks to, uh, well, because of Union Carrier's uh, side side effect drawback, kind of, so yeah. Contact Fusing yourself is just like the best part about this combo. I love it so much, honestly. It's You get a level 8 vanilla monster, but you make Harbinger after that, and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. And then Galaxy Soldier is going to pitch the A Assault Core, so now if we can just get Rampage in the graveyard, we already have it, which is gonna be really easy to do. Technically, we can do it right now, but there's a better play that we can do, so yeah, we're just gonna get a Light Machine so we can just Special Summon the Galaxy Soldier, and now yeah, we're going to summon it to make Nova using these two, because we need two Light Monsters to make Pleiades, that's what we're gonna do, and then Detach next turn, and then Revive back Rampage, and now it's a Soft Ones per turn, so you can use the effect AGAIN. Yes, and then we're gonna send Crush Wyvern and any other light monster, it doesn't matter, but if you send Core, you just have like more follow-up cards, so I feel like it's better. And then Pleiades being able to bounce back your next year is like a 2-in-1 bonus, because not only is it your, uh, it's your discard for Buster, so you know, it's only a 3-card combo, it's not like 3.5 or like 3 with discards, yeah, it's like three cards and you finish with a card in your hand that also is a follow-up in case you don't want to discard it. So now it's just insane. Like, look at this, man. You have one Omni Negate, one Quick Effect Banish that can tag out into three monsters if you can find a way to, like, clear those guys. You have Harbinger, which negates spell activation or effects and redirects attack to him. Uh, Rampage, which is, um, like, mass damage for next turn. It's going to deal 6,300 damage single-handedly. And then Pleiades is a quick effect bounce during either player's turn. So, that's nasty. Four interruptions with three cards. Uh, did we have to play any bricks for that? I mean, once again, just Cyber Dragon is a brick. Machine Dupe is a brick. Union Driver is not that bad because of next year, but, you know, does it really mean that this is going to see meta play? Absolutely not. <laughs> it's not because I make a video that it is instantly going to be tier zero. I, I don't understand people who who kind of think like that. They, they, they actually see us make a video and they're like, oh, you think it's tier zero? Okay, yeah, well, can this play through three to four hand shafts and make like nine to 10 negates? And if you're going second, can you OTK through 14 to 15 negates? Oh, no, okay, so it's probably like tier five or tier six. 
Of course not. <laughs> of course not, especially if you're just playing for fun or if you're playing for regionals. I would play a deck like this for regionals. I mean, the very first time in my entire life that I was close to topping a regional was actually with Cyber ABC. Well, technically, it was pure Cyber Dragons in the main deck, and I was citing uh, Hanger and one of each of the letters, and it was actually pretty cool. People were making Wobo first, and I was activating Hanger, and they were like, oh crap. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get into the next combo. Alright, just to prove that you really don't need to like draw Machine Dupe or draw Hanger for your combos, just core plus unauthorized reactivation is honestly really fantastic. So you're gonna search that repair plant. Repair plant gives you a bit more flexibility in this deck, so that's honestly really nice. And then of course you're always going to equip Union Driver because it's the best card to equip, right? Gets you that Buster Drake, and then you can make Union Carrier. So that's a two in one. Uh, well, actually, that's a three in one. Not only do you get a Sidra in the grave, so you can use Repair Plant. You get your B Buster Search, and you summon Union Carrier, which can uh, either get Photon Orbital into Galaxy Soldier, or you know, do a bunch of things. So yeah, it's going to equip uh, Photon Orbital to itself, and then yeah, Galaxy Soldier, blah blah blah. Pitch two. That's just really nice. And then you're gonna make Nova. Okay, go ahead, revive back Cyber Dragon Core. If you don't want to revive it, who cares, that's fine. And then you make Buster, if you want, you can just, whatever, keep playing from there. Probably might actually have, like, other cards in your hand. But yeah, it's basically the same board as the one-card Hanger combo, but without actually using Hanger. So, you see already the synergy in between cards. Uh, didn't draw Hanger, no problem whatsoever. So, yeah, let's get into the next replay. Combo, sorry, I don't even know why I said replay, but... Replay coming up uh, tomorrow, I believe. So, yeah. And then the next deck that I'm gonna do after that, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Blue Eyes and then it's gonna be Black Wings. Because Black Wings, I actually wanna do it for a friend of mine, not just for people who are commenting, but also for, I guess, people who are commenting, even though you guys aren't really the priority. Just my, my good friends are always the priority. And then I actually start looking at the comments. Eventually, I, when I'm gonna have a Patreon, then I'm going to start... Uh, actually taking every kind of request but now it's just you know it's it's kind of like i go with the flow you know if there's a deck that i really want to showcase sure why not but if it's you know sometimes it doesn't work out like at all but yeah anyways uh just kind of the proof that if you draw union driver it's actually quite good so now sure we have core but honestly if you had like next year plus union driver and basically any normal summon it's gonna achieve the same thing and remember that you do play several copies of next year like seven so it's pretty good. Yeah, you're going to be searching for emergency. Emergency is going to set search that next year, so you can already see where you know it doesn't change anything. Next year plus this and any normal summon is going to end on that. And if it's a letter, it's even better. So yeah. And then revive it back once again. Next year revives back any machine with exactly 2100 attack or 2100 defense. So 2100 attack is actually really fantastic here. And then you're going to equip it just so you can use its effect as an equip. And then, you know, summon Buster Drake. And then this is the part where you make Union Carrier, search for Assault Core, equip yourself for Crush Wyver. And mm, now we're blocked, right? Because we can't link off the Union Carrier since it cannot be linked, uh, linked off the turn it is link summoned. So what are we going to do now? We have an A Assault Core in the hand. And this is just like an equip spell. Mm. Well, I mean, we can contact Fuse ourselves once again, and then summon Assault Core, and then make Clifford Genius, and then make ABC Dragon Buster. You know, this is beautiful. Back in 2015, when I was doing plays like that, I realized there was a three card combo that did uh, 11,300 damage, if I recall correctly, and it actually involved contact fusing yourself and if you were actually able to like crash a monster i believe in damage step or something like that i don't know in battle phase the combo uh, was transformed into a two card combo something like that and there was also a three card combo going first that would actually end on like a gigantic board like infinity durandal and abc dragon buster durandal because you actually needed brilliant fusion so seraphonite was the level five for durandal but yeah that's insane man genius is going to get you that galaxy soldier search when you tie out your buster I just love it so much. This is just really fun. Once again, if you want to play for fun, then go for it. I mean, pretty sure if you're watching Cyber Dragon videos, you're not even trying to, like, beat everyone in the entire world with a 100% win rate. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace!